Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Arcturus and Saturn join the Moon and the Pleiades for a spring evening star show. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Dean Regas from the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guest host this month on Stargazer. I'm sure many of you have been missing our giant planet friend Jupiter since it dropped out of our evening skies recently. Well, never fear, because as one giant planet leaves the night sky, another comes to take its place. And the Moon will put on quite a show next week as she visits the Seven Sisters. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for just after dark any night next week facing east. You'll notice two bright star-like objects not far above the horizon. The brighter, slightly orangish one to the left is a star Arcturus in the constellation Boötes. The slightly dimmer, yellowish object to the right is a planet, the famed ring planet Saturn. If you can't tell a planet from a star, ask yourself, does it twinkle? Stars will twinkle while planets won't. Try it out for yourself. Saturn is not as bright as Arcturus and is visible only because it is reflecting light from our sun. Arcturus is a sun in its own right and is over 100 times brighter than our sun. At 37 light years away, Arcturus is much larger than our sun, 25 times as wide as our star. Contrast that with puny Saturn, only 75,000 miles wide, if you don't count the rings you'd have to line up nearly 300 Saturns side by side to get across Arcturus. Saturn will be directly opposite the Sun next week, which means it will be in the sky all night long. Saturn is one of the best planets to look at through a small telescope because it has something none of the other planets have, a set of visible rings. Mostly ice, the rings of Saturn add another 100,000 miles to its apparent width. Even though they look very impressive, the rings are unbelievably thin and when viewed edge on, almost disappear. This last happened in September 2009 as the Earth was treated to what's called a ring plane crossing as the rings were edge on to us for a brief time. The rings are widening now and are about 8 degrees from edge on. The next ring plane crossing is on March 23, 2025, so be sure to mark your calendars, you don't want to miss it. Saturn will be in the evening sky all summer long and will make a great target for your small telescopes. Now, turn around and face west on Monday night, April 4th, just after sunset, and you'll be greeted by a young, one-day-old moon. It should be a great opportunity to see the effect known as the old moon in the new moon's arms. It's also called Earthshine, and what you'll see is a faint grayish image of the non-sunlit part of the moon. This is caused by the light of the sun bouncing off the earth, then illuminating the moon, and then reflecting back down here for you to see. Quite a trip for a little sunbeam. It's no wonder it's tired and doesn't do much of a job lighting up the moon. Above the moon, you'll be able to see the seven sisters, the Pleiades. They're nearly gone from evening skies until they return next fall. The moon will pass by them again next month, but they'll be so close to the sun by then that you might not be able to see them. So, be sure to do it now. Tuesday night, at the same time, the moon will be higher and closer to the Pleiades, and a bit fatter. Then on Wednesday evening, the three-day-old moon will be about six degrees below the Pleiades, and this will be a beautiful sight with your naked eye or a pair of binoculars. Then the following evening, the moon will have gotten even fatter and higher in the sky and is past the Pleiades and will be just to the right of the bright red star Aldebaran, the eye of Taurus the Bull. So, Saturn and the Moon each have arranged to bring you something to see in the sky next week. Saturn and Arcturus will be in the eastern sky after sunset, and the young moon of April will lead you to a farewell view of the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters. Enjoy spring and keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.